to getting out there and having a, a good day and seeing what we can see. Success in the deer woods doesn't come easy. You can't buy it. You have to earn it. You can choose your own results through a year of work, adventure, preparation, and scouting, a lifetime of learning, and even a bit of luck. All of this gives us opportunity, the opportunity to dream that all of the work, practice, and dedication might pay off, and to share that dream with the next generation, and to head into a stand with that dream that at any given moment you may have earned the chance to spend just a moment in time with a legend. Stealth Cam presents Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail. Brought to you by Ozonix, Undetectable, Undeniable, Excalibur Crossbow, the most durable and accurate crossbows on Earth, the Heater Bodysuit, the ultimate cold weather hunting garment, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, switch on accuracy and let it glow, the Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate, Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe, Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. New archery products, hunt with confidence. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Tacticam, share your hunt. Old timer knives, built for generations. And by Stealth Cam, proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. Like any brotherhood, the outdoor industry is small and it's tough. You need to be passionate and not just about a product, but about hunting, about deer, and you need to work hard. And one of the hardest working, most passionate people I know is my good friend, Mr. Buddy Pilan from Ozonics Hunting. And this week he's back up at camp hunting with us for his third straight year, hoping for a hat trick on great Saskatchewan whitetails. Every year I look forward to picking Buddy up at the airport on the drive to camp, sharing stories and updates from the past year, and discussing the upcoming adventures. Upon arriving at the parking spot, we pack the ATVs for the final leg into the lodge. Arriving a day early, once at the lodge, Buddy retires for some rest, and to wait for the next morning to get his gear in order and his Excalibur Assassin lined up and ready.
With his assassin spot on and ready for the following day's hunt, the guides cut some wood and stoke the fires while Buddy has a chance to enjoy the lodge, relive memories hunting with Jason, and his past successes. The first year that Buddy had hunted with us, in 2016, he had gotten lucky and took a phenomenal long beam buck in the first hour of his hunt. The second year in 2017, Buddy had to work a bit harder, but not much, having an encounter with the target flyer buck in the morning of day three. Two great deer in two years, Buddy was now hoping that 2018 would make it three. This segment brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Furnaces, the ultimate wood heat, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Thermoseed, stay outdoors, Tinks, makers of the world's finest deer lures and scents, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Custom Bow Equipment, and Scott Archery. Up early for day one of his hunt, Buddy enjoys a warm fire and hot coffee, followed by a hearty breakfast to help keep him warm in the upcoming all-day set. Getting his clothes out of the dry wash bag, it was now time to load up and head out for the day. So uh, we're here first day of our hunt in, with Canadian Whitetail Outfitters again in, in northern Saskatchewan and we've got, a, it's something new for me, uh, it's really windy today and snowing, uh, not super cold like last year, uh, but, but cold w w when you add this wind in and I'm, I'm excited to see how the deer react up here, uh, they're, such, they're such different animals. Looking forward to getting out there and having a, a good day and seeing what we can see. Well, things were set in motion for Buddy's hunt well before he arrived. In October, like on most days, the fellows of the lodge start their day loading up and heading out on the trail, scouting the 240,000 acres that we guide on. At one particular spot we call the bottomless den. After setting up a stealth cam and putting out some big and jay, Josh had found a big 4x4 working the area. Tall tines and brow tines like end zone goalposts, though not very reliable, this was going to be Buddy's target buck for the week. After getting Buddy in and settled, he was snug and warm in his heater bodysuit, ready for the day. And though we didn't know it at the time, he needed to be ready for the entire week this year. Early movement with a couple of young bucks cruising was promising, but activity for the day proved slow, making us hope for a better day tomorrow. There we are in day two, Saskatchewan. It's 
With the colder weather definitely had more deer moving today, there was no sign of the big goalpost browtine 8 point, and Buddy enjoyed watching this young fellow for the majority of the day. Back at the lodge and his clothes packed back into the dry wash, we were all hoping for an encounter with the target buck on day three. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Body Suit. The Heater Body Suit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Body Suit. You stay warm or your money back. This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Nocturnal Lighted Knox, string activated, simple, switch on accuracy, and let it glow. Day three, Buddy was headed back to the blind after the big eight, hoping that an encounter was coming. a bit of entertainment throughout the day. Day three again was slower than hoped for as the temperatures continued to fall and more snow set in. Day four had few new deer moving, and Buddy capped the day off knowing that tomorrow was the last and final day to hunt, and with no sightings of the big eight, or any mature bucks, things were not looking good. Back in for another 10 hour sit, the temperature was now at an all time low for the week and everyone was hoping that it would get the box moving. Early into Buddy's snowy scent, this familiar buck makes an appearance. And as more deer begin to move, the young buck is fixated on something downwind, up on the ridge to the left and behind Buddy's blind. With one final look from the young buck, cameraman Ty leans out and sees what Buddy's been waiting nearly 50 hours for. It's the big eight with the goalpost brow tines. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Well, it's September already, the season's open, and we're watching this barley field that's still standing because there's been a really big deer coming out of the far corner. And this tip is probably gonna be your number one tip 
to taking a trophy whitetail in the area that you hunt, and that's being respectful of these landowners. So this property is a prime example. This crop is still standing, so we can't really access it. We could walk in from the road, but the farmer had asked when we got permission that we don't hunt here until the crop is off. The landowner didn't specify whether we could hunt on foot. We could take a truck in there, set up a ground blind. All he specified was that he did not want us in there until the crop is off, so that means even on foot. It's kind of tough because the crop is still standing, it's getting late. We know there's a big deer out there, but we're gonna wait, we're gonna respect his wishes because I wanna hunt here next year, I wanna hunt here the year after, and I wanna hunt here the year after when there might be a giant deer here. The buck that's over there, he's so far away that we've seen him come out a couple times, he might be a giant. He's got a big frame, but we're just gonna have to wait because landowner relations are the key to good hunting in your area. More often than not, when you're met with resistance or frustration when you ask permission to hunt on a property, it's because that landowner's had a bad experience with hunters in the past. They didn't respect what he had asked them to do. And at the end of the day, it's their backyard, it's their property. We're kindly asking them to let us access their property, use their property for what we love to do as a hobby or as a pastime. So there's no obligation there for him to say yes. Anytime a landowner does allow you permission, he's being very gracious in letting you access that property. You need to look at it that way, respect what he wants, and you'll have a place to hunt for many years to come. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Bog. More than just a shooting rest. Bog, engineered for the unknown. After nearly 50 hours on stand, Buddy was finally eye to eye with the Big 8 and ready to make it count with his Excalibur assassin as soon as given the opportunity. He's a beautiful, beautiful deer. Just super dark horns, just tall tines, and just a beast of a deer. And he's better than I thought. Look at that. Look at the mass on that. Look at them wide, wide, wide brow tines, like a big goal post. Those Nap Spitfires did the job. Freaking smoked them, put a hole in him, and he didn't go very far at all. Congratulations, buddy. He is pretty, eh? He's beautiful. Thanks, Dane. I appreciate it. He is gorgeous. Congrats, Ian. Josh, thank you. Yeah, I told you you would see him by the end of the week. Yeah, you did. You did. You <laughs> called it. You said, you said you're going to have to earn this one. And one of the things I noticed all week, especially today when the snow started, is how the wind literally swirls and changes directions yeah, constantly. Right. It's, yeah. it's coming out of the north, coming out of the south, hitting you in the face, blowing away from you. But you so, guys sat here for five days, running your ozonics morning and night, and every day you've seen more deer. That's correct. The same deer, and you sat in swirling winds, and a couple of days were, like, let's face it, a couple of days were bad winds. Oh yeah, horrible winds. And every day you seen more deer. You didn't wear the stand, like we didn't, you know, we didn't wear the stand out. Every day you seen more deer, and on the fifth day, yeah, you know, took him. As congratulations always, again. As always, thank you so much for you guys, what you do, and and uh, for for allowing me to come up and be a small part of this adventure. Well, the guides do all the work. I just get to drive up and be like, hey, nice deer, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned before that Buddy was passionate. It's clear to see when you watch him. It's easy to see his love for whitetails, for hunting, and for the industry. And those are a few reasons why he's one of my favorite people to share a camp with. And congratulations, Buddy. I can't wait to do it again next year and see if we can make it four for four. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment has been brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the Step Ladder.
To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, please contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all past and present episodes of Canadian Whitetail, as well as new original content, visit us on our YouTube and Carbon TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com.